this is Jeff Makalka. I'm here on the floor at CES at the Digital Health Summit Live Studio. I'm here with John Lin from healthcarescene.com. John, welcome. Tell Thanks. us a little bit about Healthcare Scene. Yeah, so healthcarescene.com is a network of 10 healthcare IT blogs. Okay. We've been blogging for about 10 years and we've written over 9,000 blog posts. I think we're somewhere around 16 million page views. Okay. For such a niche topic, we've done pretty well. Sure. So uh, yeah, we've written everything from electronic medical record all the way through personalized health solutions on your mobile phone. So written a lot of content and yep. uh, had a lot of fun with healthcare. Sure, content. Not many people can say that. But uh, <laughs> So uh, who's your uh, typical audience member? Who's reading the blogs? Yeah, so we have different sites that focus on different audiences. So we have some focus on kind of the ambulatory doctor side. Sure. We have some focus on the hospital. We have some focus on the consumer health side. So each site has its own audience. Oh, yeah, we have some on the privacy and security as well, which is always fun in health. You're right. Everyone likes to read about that uh, <laughs> and is scared about it. Um, so what's your involvement with the summit? How, how are you how are you working out with this? Yeah, so I helped uh, host the, and uh, moderated the panel on uh, genomic medicine, personalized medicine, and, sure. and really about genomic medicine for infants. So the, uh, the panelists were working on some really amazing solutions around how do you sequence the genome of a child, mm -hmm. but also the father and mother. They call it a trio. Sure. And so they have the trio of of sequencing, and then they say, what can we do with that to improve the health of that child? Mm -hmm. And it just takes medicine to a whole new level with the genome. Are we getting into predictive analytics at this point then, once you're getting this information about the three, the trio? Yeah, I don't think the trio does predictive. I, mean, I guess in some ways it's predictive, but you know, if you already know the genomic sequence, it's not even predictive. In many cases, they have it. Okay. it they just have it in utero, sure. and so you're able to treat it or you're able to prepare for it as you do it. The other thing that's really interesting is that the genomic medicine and pharmacogenomics, as they call it, is so new mm -hmm. that I'm not sure we're sure exactly what's going to happen. But by having that trio of the baby, the mother, and the father, yep. then it provides a beautiful baseline for that child's future. Right. As they get cancer, okay, now what happened that made them have cancer? We can do the sequence again, and we can discover, oh, that's what caused the cancer because we know what changed. So getting back to that fun topic around privacy and those sorts of things, what do you think the implications are around gathering this information about people right from birth all the way as they age. <laughs> well, you have to be careful, right? I mean, but it turns out to me, HIPAA is actually a great standard for security and privacy. Mm -hmm. The problem is a lot of healthcare institutions don't actually implement it. Sure. So if they implemented it, it would be fine. It's, it's flexible enough that it, could, it applies to genomics as much as it does health data on a cell phone. And so I think it's a good framework. We just sure. need to be more serious about it right. because it really does matter. I mean, if you get your genomic sequence offered to someone else, it's not like a credit card where you can just cancel it and get a new one. Yep, <laughs> very interesting stuff. So that's great. I'm afraid we're running out of time. So if people wanted to learn more, how could they get in touch with you, but also get and learn more about um, Healthcare Scene? Sure, I mean, obviously go to healthcarescene.com. It links to all the different blogs. You can subscribe to them by email. Also, we're really active on social media. Okay. I'm at Tech guy is my account. That's right. How'd you sna snag that one? Yeah, That's a good one. You know, we were early, which is <laughs> nice, you know. Uh, it says how good we are at predicting the future. There you go. But sure. we also have at EHR and HIT, uh, which is our biggest account for healthcare IT. Excellent. Great. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'm Jeff Makalka here with the Digital Health Summit Live uh, studio here on the floor at CES. I'd like to thank, uh, oh my goodness, John Lind for being with us for today. And, um, and, and of course, reach out to him if you have any more questions. Thank you so much for your time. Perfect. Thank, thank you. you.